you're 26 years old. Yeah. You're a massive music star. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a lot going on with that. Yep. You know, <laughs> a new record out that's number one and you're touring and all yeah. that. Uh, you could be, you could cheer on the Raptors. Mm -hmm. You could wear the jersey. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be the ambassador for the Raptors. Right. Tell me about taking something like that on. Why'd you want to do that? Well, I enjoy new challenges, you know, much like this this album. I enjoy taking on a challenge. And um, yeah, sure, I could cheer them on and, and wear the jersey, but I'd rather, um, I'd rather revamp the, the, I'd rather, you know, uh, revamp the team I want to put my input into the building. Um, I want to make it more exciting. I want to make it more fanatic. Uh, I want the energy that, you know, I see when I go, like I talked about college sports or sometimes you'll go to other, so watch other N NBA teams play and it's like you're almost, you feel awkward not being a fan of you got, got to cheer for that team because the, I mean, it's just, there's a, an, an electrifying, energy I want to bring that here and it, it, it's just something that I've always wanted to do so yeah I guess just to stand by and like in all of your 26 years in all of my 26 years do you know anyone who's more ambitious than you are um yes I do uh I who? feel who's more ambitious I feel like I surround myself with um people that are just as if not more ambitious right. than me yeah um you know, my management, um, two guys who I grew up with, um, friends of mine that uh, have grown exponentially throughout the years and plan to keep growing. I mean, we all do. And th those, those are guys that I feel like at times are, you know, um, more ambitious than me. 40, 40 definitely outworked your, your me producer. on this album. Yes, my producer, he's, he's, um, he's um, maybe my, my, dreams are a bit more grandiose but <laughs> but I was as say, far you're, as you're hardly a slacker yeah, yeah. but as, as far as ambition goes i mean i'm not the only one in, in the in the circle well know? on your last mixtape so far gone you wrapped yeah. and i'm paraphrasing a bit i want the money in the cars the clothes and the hose mm -hmm. i just want to be successful we can say hose on here you should have told me that <laughs> well it's your lyric <laughs> so it's a, it's a proper it's yeah, art yeah. is that still your definition of success um no that was that was very much a, it was always kind of, even at that time, I knew that wasn't the ultimate success. That was just um, the naive young man's definition of, you know, like starry eyed success. You know, that's, that's what that, that's what that song was about. And I think the verses were the juxtaposition. You know, the hook was, the hook was very much like you said, it, now that you read it back in your voice, it sounds, it's, it sounds really simple I didn't do a good enough job of it. <laughs> but, um, but no, that, 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 that song was always kind of, um, that, that was, that is the rap definition of, of success, I guess. So at Do you time, feel like you are successful? Yes, I do. I always want more. Um, I'm for some reason like ready to go back and start working on new music um, tonight, even though everyone around me needs this a, came out um, like last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone around me needs a breather for sure. But um, but dude, you, you, you said you wanted to have twenty five million dollars by the time you're twenty five. You did that. Mm -hmm. You now you say you want two hundred and fifty million by the time you're twenty nine. I mean, this is given the modest way you grew up. Mm -hmm. What what does money mean to you? Well, I think less than the dollar value. It's just more about um, the idea of growth and business business mindset to, you know, 25 million um, at the time seemed crazy to me. But when you start becoming a headlining touring act and, you know, brands want to get involved with you and you can go do private events and whatnot, it's, you know, you're capable of making it. And now I want to, you know, for sure, obviously keep touring, keep making music. But now I see that there's other ways, um, you know, as far as like, you know, this global ambassador thing, as far as maybe starting, I want to invent something. I want to, I want to start a, I want to start a company. I want to do something that has maybe nothing to do with music. Well, I why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? I'm just addicted to it. I just, why? um, I think that I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can because I've uh, given up a lot of years as far as um, maybe like 
nurturing like personal relationships go and um, you know trying to build things like a, a family or a relationship or a, I don't I don't like I don't do any of that I just kind of work so with that being said and how do you feel about that I'm okay with that now at this point in my life I'm okay with that um, I think it's a great age to be doing that you know I think maybe in 10 years if I'm still in that mindset, I might have to like come sit back down with you and be like, yeah, we gotta have a, <laughs> this is a different conversation tonight. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I feel well, good yeah, about it now. I, I interview a, a lot of artists who will say, uh, and I'll say, what is the dream here? What do you, you know, it's like, I, I just want to be able to play music, make a living. Mm. You know, it's just about the art. Yeah. Um, I mean, whether they're being duplicitous or not in the answer, they don't, publicly say, I want to be number one, especially right. Canadian musicians. Right. You're not afraid to say that. Mm -hmm. um, tell me why. Well, I don't want to be number two. I, I think that would be a weird thing to sit here and say, or I don't care what, you know, I, I, I want to, I want to make, I want to make this, this city proud, you know, uh, that's, that's, that's a main reason for me.